I rolled the stick down adhesive across the base of the barn roof. Then the next thing that I did was put a 12 inch wide piece of four to flash across the bottom of the skylight. Whenever you cross here, so whenever you flash a window or a door, you always want to shingle it like you would a roof. So I put that underlayment here and then I shingled the flashing on top of it. And then the siding flashing goes on top of that, the side of the skylight. So on both sides of the skylight. Then I'm going and I'm putting the next layer of the roofing underlayment on top of and shingling it over my last layer. There's a little bit of a sticky bit here which will it'll stick to well. Uh, and then I decided to do it over the flashing of the um, skylight because I think that'll have better protection. Oh, and the next thing that I'm gonna do, since this is a bitumen product and it's cold out, it's not sticking super well, so I'm gonna take a propane torch, heat it up, and then stick it to the Ford flash. It'll, it'll work fine once I heat it up. detail here of this. I'm putting the shingle and I'm attaching it to the side of the skylight. So the weakness in the system is if water gets inside the side of the skylight and then goes under the shingle, then it can drip into the roof line. So what I've done is I've glued it down underneath each shingle tab and then uh, right on the corner you'll see, it's hard to see, but you can see that adhesion line, that adhesive line right there of caulk. I'm using this Chemlink M1 structural adhesive, which I got at ABC Supply. They're a national chain. Um, and, I've, and this stuff is specifically for metal roofs. It's got a high temperature rating. So when I'm trying to adhere these asphalt shingles to the metal roof, um, this is the system that, the best system that I came up with. There's gonna be some flexing in the temperature, but Hopefully this product will be able to flex with the temperature changes. Got a flashing layer around it already. And then this is a bitumen based under layer which is stuck to the flashing layer. And then in addition to that, I'm putting the adhesive and sticking the tiles in the corner. So I'm hoping that all three of those layers will make it so these skylights don't ever leak. the shingle that's going to cover the top of this skylight, I'm going to put a layer of sealant underneath the top, inside of the shingle, and on the sides, uh, and then on top to secure it so that it will bounce off and go around. So this guy, let's slide him in. Unintended.
So obviously I cut him to size for her. And then you'll see the cock bruging out. No pun intended. And then now I'm going to put another layer of cock. Another layer of cock. Cold. I actually took this tube of caulk and put it inside by the fireplace because it's cold out here today. Okay. As in politics and construction and life, the devil's in the details. So if I didn't come back, and do this again, that would have been totally ineffective. Every little detail changes the functioning and effectiveness of what you're talking about, of what we're doing. So don't believe a politician who promises you, it's okay if a politician, a politician promises the world, but he's got to back it up with specifics, not generalizations. Okay, here we go. Sorry about all the movement. I'm trying to keep this steady, but it's hard to. So if you look down that row there, you see that's all sealed. It's glued underneath, underneath the shingle, and then on the side of the shingle. And then on the top it's glued, and then underneath the shingle, and then on the side of the shingle. And your caulk is only as good as the grade that you use. So you don't, don't just buy this stuff from Home Depot. It's not going to work.